Hi, welcome back to Margie's Weekly Wine. This week I have my friend Patty with me. From Pennsylvania, she came down for the Maryland game because it's homecoming this weekend. Welcome to my weekly wine. Thank Patty. you, Margie. I'm looking forward to this. This should be a lot of fun. I do watch you every week and they are fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the double date we went on? Oh, yeah. Um, that cheap one? That very cheap one. The guys <laughs> got off real easy. It was a uh, dinner, concert, and a movie. Uh, the dinner, the guys went into 7-Eleven, uh, picked up some cupcakes, probably some beer, <laughs> and then left without me. Uh, the concert, it was to see the Who at the Mary Weather Post Pavilion. Yeah, right. They stormed outside. the gates. Yes, yes, we did. Yes, <laughs> so they didn't free. pay for that either. That was free. And then we went over to one of their friends' houses to watch a movie, but it was like a black light or something like that. Yep. That's all I remember about it, but boy, did they get off cheap. But again, it wasn't always that way either. No. But anyway, we're on to our wine first. <laughs> Here it is, Hot to Trot, $9.99. And the reason I chose this was because at one time we were Hot to Trot. <laughs> Not well, I know another story, Patty, why I'm opening this. Oh, no. Uh, remember when you had your high school pictures and you guys didn't have to wear your uniforms? Right, right, right. So you had gotten them back and your mother said, Patty, go show Margie your um, pictures, your school pictures. And you were like, no, 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 no. And it's like really weird because Patty always wanted to show her pictures. <laughs> Come to find out the reason she didn't want to show it is because she had on my shirt and her pictures. <laughs> and I didn't let her know in advance. <laughs> So she must have just taken it one day and wore it to the pictures. That was funny. All right, here we go. Let's try the wine. Great. Cheers. Cheers. Let's try. It's a white, uh, just a mix, a white, medium, delight blend. Mm, it's pretty good. It's not like a Chardonnay, though. Well, what do you think? It has like a, I don't know. I think it's good. It is, it is dry. And um, it has a little bit of a kick as it's going down, too. Because <laughs> <It's laughs> okay, you haven't eaten anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, you would like any wine. That's true. <laughs> or any drink, as we know, with our experience over at a certain house when our friend Tom Miller was house-sitting. Oh, you remember that one? that one? Yes. Oh, God. We were at a house that he was watching for somebody in the M Club, yes, wasn't somebody, it? Some very important person. Yep, and he had brought vodka back from the Munich Olympics yeah. where he was on the basketball team. Yeah. Very proud of this bottle of vodka. So we decided to make watermelon vodka drinks with his vodka. <laughs> seeds and all, real watermelon. <laughs> and we put it in the blender, watermelon seeds, Munich vodka. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> we used the whole bottle. We don't think he was real happy after that. I am Tom McMillan's ghost. I know you took my vodka. Oh, and thanks for letting me live in your fireplace. Hey, yeah, by the way, since we're going to the Maryland homecoming, um, I was in the pep club, never even went to school there. You were in the brochure. Yeah, <laughs> I was. Never went to school there. No, that was, that was a good one. Yeah. It really was. A lot of fun. Yeah. Glad you're here. Thank we'll you. We'll have a fun weekend. Glad to be here. Yeah. Okay, now for my wine. I think we've both experienced this. We ask children around the same age. Yes, we do. Girls and boys. We were late starters. And our, bo our babies are 14. Yes. Well, my wine is, why do people think they're our grandchildren? I was taking my son to the orthodontist, and here he is laying back in the chair where the dentist had put, orthodontist had put all that stuff in his mouth. And the, I was concerned about him getting braces because he wasn't really cleaning his teeth properly every day. So I mentioned something to the hygienist and told her that I was concerned. So the dentist, the orthodontist comes to me and says, to Brandon, so what's this that your grandma tells me you're not brushing your teeth? And in the background, here's the hygienist waiting. It's the mother, it's the mother, not the grandmother. I had the same thing at the grocery store. The checker, white hair also, and the line, Kevin was helping me bag the groceries, my 14-year-old. And she goes, oh, honey, 
isn't that nice uh, that your grandson is here to help you with the groceries? <laughs> the look on Kevin's face was like, <laughs> and I don't know what the look on my face was, but I'm sure it wasn't happy. <laughs> and uh, Kevin goes, she's my mom. Oh, well. It'll be different when we take him to college <laughs> with our canes, <laughs> wheelchairs, whatever. Yes. All right. Glad you can make it. Oh, I'm glad too. Glad Thank you guys you. tuned in. See you next week for Margie's Weekly Wine. Cheers.